Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always, okay? I return to source, I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in on the appearance of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, trying to steal from you, it is returned to you, and you return to you as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot. Uh, for someone out there, be extremely careful and vigilant. There is someone being paid to come towards you, to bind you, trap you, keep you stuck, or something of that nature. There's a collaboration going on behind the scenes amongst a group of people within a community. Um, someone could be being paid by like a Queen of Wands reverse, the same woman we've been picking up on for the past three months. She is paying someone to come towards a Queen of Cups to do them something. This is to honor life you. There's something about a stabbing that's being pl uh, plotted. Um, they want you, they want this person to take you out of here, okay? Uh, so just be careful. This is someone that says that she has to win. She has to win at all costs. She doesn't care what it is she has to do to make something go in her favor. This is someone that has lost their mind, never had their mind. This is someone that is in an eight of swords energy always. Just trying to figure out how to manipulate people. Like someone is trying to force something to go in your way. You could be in your queen of swords energy right now because of the things you're picking up on when it comes to these people. They've been doing quite a lot today. There are people being put or placed in your energy to watch your movement, see where you're going, when you're going there, how long you're there, what places you're going. They're trying to figure out the right time, place, whatever to take action against you. There's a really weird experience I had today. Um, of course, I don't know if some of you are aware, I've been having some hacking issues. People keep shutting down my computer, wiping the hard drive because they're invading my privacy and they don't want, uh, I guess, to be cut. I don't know what it is. I It is what it is. But anyway, so I ended up taking my machine to get it replaced because obviously if they're getting into the system, they probably have to... Uh, router information. This is like the fourth time I've had to do this, you all. It is what it is. Like, we're going to get to our destination regardless. But I'm just using my situation as an example. So I get there and to switch out my uh, router, and there's a gentleman that pulls up to the building. His uh, license plate has an out of state. It, his license plate is an out-of-state license plate, excuse me. And I'm someone that's very analytical. I notice everything, things that I should not be noticing, things that people don't pick up on, that, but I'll pick up on it. And if I say something, I look crazy. But what I looked at was the fact that his license plate was from a different state. But he's dropping off equipment in the state that I'm in. And I'm just like, uh, okay, so you couldn't find any other location? Within your state to drop off that license to drop off all uh, those equipments, and then you know I'm look, I'm sitting there and I'm like maybe I'm you know overthinking this or whatever. But the funny thing is they never ended up dropping off the equipment. Like they changed their mind. It was him. He got off the car first, and then his friend came in there. They changed their mind. I guess went back into the car. But what I noticed is that it's like they were waiting to get some type of information. Like you know like those phone screeners that like people there, there are people out here that are very crafty with how they hack information and that's what came to mind the fact that they left without even dropping their equipment off i feel like they were there with some type of screener or reader or something trying to get someone's phone information to hack into it or something like that that's just all that, that's just what i was thinking because i was just like uh you left that stick to come in this state to drop off what because it didn't even look like they were new to this it didn't look like something was just out of the norm you all but just i'm just saying i'm just using that example to say that be vigilant of the things that are going on around you like there are people being placed in certain locations like they're keeping track of you in certain ways 
to make sure that when they want to carry out this attack or wherever this is, that they have access to you. There's some type of stabbing that's being plotted. I keep like seeing knives everywhere. Like today I was walking with my kid. When I tell you, I saw like two knives, like silver knives. Like one looked like, you know, those knives you'll use to peel an apple or orange or something. Like just a cooking knife. Like real big. You just laying in the grass and I'm just like, what in the world? Like what the place the knife was lit, located it's not somewhere that a knife should be laying and then we walked a little bit farther again and then on my left side i see another knife i said god dang it someone is planning some type of attack what i think it is that there's an attack being plotted against a queen of swords and a king of swords so if you're a king of swords i don't know what situation you are in right now because i've been picking up on your energy that you are trying to balance something out you are trying really hard to make it towards someone and balance a situation out. I, I don't know what your specific situation is. Maybe you're caught up in some type of court case that they set up and tried to get you locked up or something, or maybe they already have you locked up or there's um, some type of bogus charges. It'll all work out for you, but just be careful. Um, if you are in, I don't even know how to say this, so I'm not even going to, but if you can, just be vigilant because there's some type of plot against you. And the person you want to go towards, the Queen of Swords, there's a plot against this woman as well. Like they are plotting to trap her in some type of situation so that they can take her out. Like there's somebody paying and it's a Queen of Wands. You more than likely know who this Queen of Wands is that is planning this uh, just ridiculous attack because someone wants to force some type of situation to go in her favor. Like someone is a clown walking around. Someone is a fraud. Someone is incompetent. Someone is mentally ill. Um, and she's pissed off that the truth is being seen about her. It's like she's been copying somebody else's persona or personality so that she can be seen as someone that's a light worker. But this is someone as dark as it gets. There's no, there's no other darkness above this kind of energy that I'm picking up on. So this is who's hiring the hit. This is the the, 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 the the one that's hiring the assassin, the assassin Creed. She's the one hiring Robin and Batman, you know, the, the assassin and his assistant, whoever. But just be very vigilant, okay? Like this woman is wanting people to see her as a wish fulfillment. She's living in fear because I think there's some type of decision that is in limbo right now. And she's hoping that it'll go in her favor. While she's hoping that it goes in her favor, she's doing a lot of malicious and wicked things behind the scenes to cause some type of blockage. So you don't end up going towards someone to balance a situation out. Like she does not want you giving to this queen of swords that's actually in the upright, whoever you have your eyes on. And you know this person you want to give to is absolutely very genuine, down to earth, someone very gifted, very strong. Um, someone may be doing something on their own and you see that maybe you have some type of loyalty to this young, uh, vibrant energy. Um, and people are pissed off about that. It's like they've been trying to talk you out of your loyalty to this person but whoever you are being loyal to they are just as loyal as you so you're not doing anything wrong it's just that you are surrounded by the wrong people if you have if you you can be confident that this person is just as loyal as you if you are going through some type of changes where you used to be like-minded as these uh people within this group it's okay that you're going through a change, but whoever you're going towards is just as loyal as you are. It's what I'm picking up on. So you can be confident that this new beginning will be working out for the both of you. I don't know if you want to give to someone so that you can... I, I, I hear something about restore, like restore their foundation, restore their finances, restore their energy, something like that. I don't know what it is, but there's something about restoration that you are trying to do. And it has people heart working out here. It came out. It has people heart heartbroken out here, but this Queen of Swords is healing. They're recovering, uh, and people are upset about that. It's like they've been doing everything to block this woman's forward movement, take from her or whatever, uh, just slander someone, and they've been wanting her to be in some type of heartbreak and despair where she's just crying, uh, feeling hopeless in life, living in fear, like everybody's coming after me. But this woman does not feel that way. Someone is out here healed, balanced, and moving forward with their life. 
Uh, they may even be open to you to reconciling if you meet or something of that nature, which you two will meet in divine timing. Uh, there's something where they've been trying to block someone from being heard, being seen, um, being admired, being offered any type of opportunities. There's a lot of illusions that's been going on about this woman and the truth is out now okay you could have another queen of source behind the scenes i don't know if this is someone that's been manipulating you uh just be very cautious because this is someone that's that gets a thrill out of things like that but i'm gonna stick stay out of her energy because these karmic people i'm sorry your energy is just a little bit too much for me it's astonishing how much of an effort you all will put into destroying other people instead of putting that amount of effort into your own lives like whoever this queen of swords reverse is that i'm picking up picking up on this is someone that's very insecure and this person is insecure in ways that words cannot even emphasize like it's absolutely astonishing and just uh just it's crazy like the uh, the length this woman has gone to to mix something seem like what it is not it's like someone started some type of false narrative and she knew she was lying the whole time maybe other people didn't know she was lying what i'm hearing is that it was like a situation where it's like a woman was in a community uh longer than this younger energy right uh this could be a man as well but i'm getting a woman this woman was in this community a lot longer than this younger energy. This younger energy may have been placed in this woman's, this queen of swords energy to kind of mentor her and tutor her. She never did that. Instead, what she did was get on like a smear campaign and start slandering this woman, this younger energy, because she was intimidated by this person's energy, their gifts, because this younger energy is more gifted than this queen of swords. This queen of swords is just manipulative and cunning. Don't have any real gifts and things like that. She would have picked up on the fact that this younger energy energy page of cups was very unique uh was very free spirited uh was very gifted it said what she's been trying to to learn and master her whole her, her whole life this person has it naturally and this has to do obviously with the work this kind of person has done throughout their incarnations right they've put in a lot of work these are people when they incarnate their sole purpose is to help other people heal balance out their emotions and things like that give people hope uh and uh give people hope in life right have, have people feeling hopeful and not being so down and dark all the time like learning how to heal from their traumas and getting in touch with their inner child and things like that that is what the page of cup is symbolic of that inner child healing living in your truth accepting your spirituality if you're gifted you accept that you don't have to be all out there with it but when this queen of swords reversed we have met this page of cups it was a thing of feeling intimidated. It said, oh, I've been wanting to be that my whole life, but I have to fix the funk. And here you are, you're naturally that. You don't have to read any books. You don't have to do any spells. You don't have to manipulate and you're just gifted and you just get what it is you want from source or people just naturally like you. People are just naturally drawn to you. So sh some type of envy would have kicked in and she will have went on some type of smear campaign like even maybe telling people in the community that this young energy is retarded or something of that nature like someone is very malicious a queen of swords in a community is extremely malicious it's like she's fascinated by just being wicked and this is someone in the community where people will be uh considering as like a pillar of the community like if you meet this person if you see them you will never assume that they are into the kind of dark work that they are into you hear me so people don't know what this woman does behind the scenes and the truth is going to be out but there's something where it's that she and her colleagues or her friends whatever this is got together to destroy this younger energy but it's like whatever it is they do no matter what they do this uh, uh page of, of cups is so knowledgeable it's like they understand everything and know everything these people are planning and so they know how to balance their emotions out maybe in the past they may not have known they may have had to kind of pick up on things or learn or observe these people to see what they were doing and say why are you moving that way and then at some point this page of cups would have picked up you know oh that's what they're doing but wouldn't have more than likely said anything 
because these are people that are focused all on themselves, their own healing, what's in their cup. That's part of the reason you see that page of cups holding that cup is that they're looking into their own cup, focused on what it is that belongs to them, what's going on with them. They're looking deeper into things. So this person may come across as younger, but these are people that are very analytical. They look at the details. They look at everything. Like they read the fine prints and things like that. This woman is just, um, what is the word? Mechanistic, something like that. Like someone is like very robotic. There's no emotions. It's that like she feels like because she does something faster, then she's better at it. But being fast does not mean you're better at something. And most of the time when you're doing something fast, you're more prone to make mistakes than people that are actually detail oriented where they'll sit down and look at everything. Something I'm also picking up on is that she will have started copying this younger energies way of doing things. So she's not detail oriented, but she will have started picking up on how this page of cups moves. So if this page of cups is detail oriented, they pay attention to all the fine prints and things like that she would start doing that but while she's doing that she's causing havoc for this page of cups behind the scenes making it seem like this person is unfit for whatever opportunity position or something of that nature i'm not sure what the specifics are but that's what she would have been doing behind the scenes is making it seem like this page of cup is inadequate for some type of promotion some type of position some type of financial abundance gift or whatever this is i don't know folks but there's a queen of swords within a community that is just cold-hearted, very malicious, um, pretends to be quick-witted, but she's not really quick-witted. This is just someone pretending. Like, she's taking on some type of persona that she thinks um, classifies her as an elite. She has, like, an elitist mindset. Someone considers themselves to be an elite, okay? And the way they go about doing things is very cunning, is very calculative. By the time you notice what this woman is doing, it's too late because this is someone you'll see and they come across as very genuine. But this is the kind of person I'm picking up on where it's like hugging bothers them, love bothers them. They don't care about all that lovey-dovey. Like if they're laying with someone, it's just, they're just laying with them. There's no emotions attached uh, to what it is they're doing. Like someone is very vain, but very elitist. Okay, and it could be a thief as well, but they've been trying to steal something from someone and it's not good. Excuse me. It, it fell out, so I'm going to put it out. <laughs> I'm going to put it out. They've been trying to steal something from someone, but it's not going according to plan. Like all of their hopes and wishes are not coming through. They're wishing to bind someone, block someone, trap someone. They're not getting their wish fulfillment, which is why we have this four of cups below the eight of swords. It's a source. It's like absolutely not. Whatever it is you're trying to execute against this person is based on a false narrative. This is why your wishes are not coming true right here. The stars followed by the four of cups. Your wishes, what you're trying to manifest for this star seed is not coming to fruition because it's all based on a lie. And maybe people didn't know that because they trusted this queen of swords within this community. And they may have been assisting her to cause blockages to block this person from receiving any type of assistance, right? From a king of swords who's also a king of pentacles. And they're fighting with this person behind the scenes all based on lies. It's like a whole community got together and lied on one person and it's all because of jealousy. Think of like a community where you come there and the lights are out. Like it's dark as far as far as energy. Like it's dark everywhere, right? And you come in there and you're in this bright energy, lively, bubbly, eccentric, and it's pissing people off because they've been in darkness for so long. Your light irritated that your deep, your light irritated the demon within them, right? So they get in some type of cahoots, some type of collaborative situation to come up with a plan on how to destroy you. Maybe there's a, a, a wealthy man around that maybe is considering you for a position or something or some type of offer. So they get into some type of collaborative agreement that they are going to smear your character so that this man does not see you as someone that's genuine, does not see you as someone that's honest, but you're showing up as all of these things, that like you're someone that's you, you're someone that's very honest, you're someone that's very genuine, very down to earth, uh, very vibrant, right? very lively very hopeful a healer and things like that you're very intellectual showing up as the queen of swords and you're someone that people prosper around like wherever you are is a lot of growth that takes place so this community you will have been in was will have been really dark 
Like people probably just lived in despair and accepted it. But here you come. You got your little vibe about yourself. You got a little bit of a mouth on you. People aren't about to tell you what your limitations are. They're not about to tell you what your dreams are, how far you can go in life, and you voice your opinions. It would have been bothering people, but maybe you didn't pick up on it because, again, the page of cups tend to be people that kind of just pay attention to what's going on with them. They're not narcissists, but they don't care to be in other people's business. What pertains to them is what it is they care about, right? So you would have been in your own little world. Maybe you're very straightforward, very direct with this Ace of Swords out here. And you you maybe were very blunt with people and they're not used to that. They're used to people sugarcoating things, lying and things like that. Whereas you're a little bit more just straightforward and like a two-edged sword is that A is A, B is B. And it bothered these people. So there's something where I'm picking up on is that they're trying to get a man to not have any type of fond memories of you. It's like they want him to think that your entire time around them was horrible. You were mean to them. You were a bully. You never did any of these things to these people. But this is how they want him to feel about you. Like you maybe were not a team player. Maybe you were using dark magic. You were out here betraying people, but it's a lie. What he's finding out is that they have been paying. They have been trying to manifest an ending for you. They're, they've been trying to cause blockages. They've been causing blockages, collaborating with people behind the scenes in order to block you from moving forward. But you're too strong. Like you keep moving forward and this strength of yours is what's leading to balance being brought into a situation and putting something to rest, right? And you are going to receive your ace of pentacles. Could be coming from a king of wands that's coming in quickly to give to you, to advocate for you. Maybe advocating on your behalf, trying to figure out how to balance things out, right? How to move forward. He's also trying to figure out how to balance something out with a king of cups. I don't know how that plays into the scenario, um, but it's just like there's too much going on behind the scenes with these people. You got a king of swords in your energy. You got a king of pentacles in your energy. You got a king of cups. Uh, King of Wands, it said everybody is in there. You may end up being someone that has a lot of options available to you when it comes to partnerships uh, in business or maybe even in love and things like that. I told you, you're heal. It has these people in distress. They don't like the fact that you're heal. They don't like the fact that you're not out here feeling alone. You're like, I'm okay with being by myself. Because with people like these, maybe you don't need to be out here looking for friends. You never know who's around the corner. Okay, so they're, hard. They're, they're pissed off because you're healed. You've gotten over some type of disappointment. You've gotten over some type of heartbreak that these people tried to cause you. Maybe he went and partnered up with somebody else. And maybe they were trying to rob that in your face. And they're finding out that you really don't give two Fs. Okay, uh, because these are people that operate in their lower energy. I told you this queen of swords reverse was a thief, right? See what freaking <laughs> what landed under her? The seven of swords. This is someone who's a thief. This is someone that's been orchestrating your demise from behind the scenes. And then there's a queen of wands that's been doing the same as well. But this is for someone that's a thief. This queen of swords within this community, people see her, she smile. This is a thief. This is not someone that is upright. This is not a pillar of the community. This is not someone that has mastered themselves. This is someone that's under judgment by the spirit realm because she tried to steal some type of connection or block some type of connection, thought she was going to get away with it. And the universe is telling her absolutely not. Whoever this man is within this community is taking some type of new path, new direction, and moving on. Could be a king of pentacles. He's walking away, and they may be angry about that, they're mostly angry because of the fact that they know he's walking away to come towards you to give you an offer. Like he knows the truth and the truth has set him free. He's self-actualizing, seeing the situation from a higher perspective, seeing things for what it is, what they are, and he's choosing to move on. Okay. And you yourself, you're moving on with your life. It's like these people are stuck in some type of old paradigm while you're moving on, going through a tower as well. There's some, some type of supernatural event. That is taking place behind the scenes. Yeah, he's coming towards you. There's some type of supernatural event that's taking place behind the scenes with these people. Um, and it just does not make sense that all of these supernatural events are taking place. Like, it's just astonishing that all of these supernatural events are taking place behind the scenes in their lives. But they are still 
trying to figure out how to bind you, but you're meant to be free. They're still trying to figure out how to end you, how to unalive you. They're plotting something very malicious, but it's not coming into fruition. You are going to get the chance to, to walk away. You are a queen of cups right here, and your new beginning is right around the corner. Everything you've been doing up until now has had a purpose to it. Maybe you didn't know, but you are going within and you are taking some type of new path. You may receive some type of new opportunity. You could be someone that has mastered yourself or mastered some type of craft. And this is leading to some type of offer coming in towards you. And it's going to lead to a lot of different other avenues for you, right? A lot of options. So you could be someone that, en someone that ends up having a lot of options offered to you, but you're going to be have. You're going to have to be careful on which option you select, all right? Make sure you go with what you resonate with. Be true to yourself. Do not get out here trying to pretend to be something you are not because you will not be fulfilled in that position or whatever it is, okay? But the truth, so that you're an empress is what I'm picking up on. You're a queen of swords, queen of wands, queen of cups, queen of pentacles, an empress, and I'm picking up that you could be a high priestess as well. You are also a queen of wands, correct? There's there's another queen of wands within this community that the truth is being seen about someone is exposed. The darkness about her is being seen and the light about you is being seen. You're being seen as someone that's very genuine. You're very inspiring. Maybe people are inspired by you. Um, and may want to talk to you. Uh, the fact that this man know that you are someone genuine and you've always been this way and he didn't realize that he was kind of uh, helping your advisories go up against you. It has him in some type of distress. He may be feeling disappointed or maybe feeling ashamed or something, um, but he's taking the initiative to come towards you whenever it is he decides to. Um, he will do that, but just know that at the end of the day, there's some type of karma that is playing out in these people's lives. There's something where they thought they were going to get away with it. It's, it's like we have enough people. We have enough connections. We have connections in this area, that area, in this company, that community, in this group. So we have her trapped or we have him trapped. But the universe is that, oh, uh, you forgot. This is my matrix. You won't got nobody trapped. They are free as can be and they are being told that they have the authority to stand their ground and defend themselves and nobody is doing anything to them. And it has these people burdened, angry, jealous, because what? There's some type of relationship that's coming together for a empress energy. I said you were an empress, right? You probably don't even see this offer that's coming towards you, which is a okay. Um, but everything is gonna work out in your favor. Uh, there's something where it's like, <clears throat> I'm also picking up on like a king of pentacles reverse that has been being paid to block you from being able to have a new beginning. So that someone is benefiting off of your downfall or your setbacks or you being in a stalemate. So he may want to take some type of impulsive and reckless action to come towards you to give you some type of problem talking about you cost me money. So I'm going to do this. And it's said, where really? So I cost you money because what? You're not able to get paid anymore for causing me steel mates. You're not able to pretend anymore to be in the upright. You're not able to pretend anymore to be someone of high honor. You're exposed because it's a masculine that's about to be exposed in his community as a fraud. Someone has been being paid for a long time to keep an empress energy blocked. To keep an empress energy stagnant, lying about a feminine energy, pretending that something, pretending that she's something that she's not. So telling people that you're incompetent, you're mentally ill, you're unstable, you don't know what you're doing, something like that. Like someone has a mental illness, but he's been projecting it onto an empress energy. A queen of swords, by the way. People don't, someone that's very intellectual. Like the queen of swords are not people you want to play with. These are people that, you know, they see things from afar, but they just don't say nothing. They let you figure it out. Eventually, you'll figure out what is going on. It's something like that. But anyways, who, I don't know how you want to be called, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Empress Energy, baby Empress. Listen, whatever you've been manifesting, it is here. You're about to exit this situation as a Queen of Wands Energy, that battle queen, because you've been having to battle these people for probably quite a long time. Some of you in silence with discretion. Some of you, your ancestors have been battling these people on your behalf and you probably didn't know, but the scores are being settled. 
Uh, here's something about Russian roulette. So maybe the karma that's playing out in these people's lives is being carried out like kind of a Russian roulette game. It said, any, many, money, more. What shall I wreck in your life today? Oh, I know your job. You lose your job. Something like that. There may be a queen of wands that ends up being escorted off of a premises, some type of company. I don't know what this is, but honey, just know, count your last days in that company. They're getting rid of you. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.